If you've clicked on this video, you're probably already considering whether you should quit your job. Just well, leave, like, just go. Don't worry about it, just go. Just do it, like, why are you scared? Do it. No pressure or anything, but just do it. Like, it's fine. You'll be all right. Why are you scared? <laughs> I've got my hair up now so you know that I'm being very serious. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Ayo. I am a encouragement vlogger and I'm here to just help you and encourage you to find your dream job, your passion or your business idea. Anything to do with life, anything to do with development, I'm here for it. So this video is well it's a video dedicated to answering that question that you probably have in your mind right now should you quit your job now i may be smiling but it's no laughing matter your job you know i mean i'm a 20 something year old i've been working for about three to four years now and i personally quit my job without having something lined up and without really knowing exactly what I wanted to do. I had an idea, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So it was very much a leap of faith and I am just wanting to quickly do this video to just give you a few tips or give you a few indicators whether now is the time for you to quit your job. Now, as somebody that quit their job just about three weeks ago, I may not be the most qualified to tell you, but I'm just going to share a few tips for you, a few things that were on my mind that helped me decide now was the time to call it quits. Number one, if you absolutely hate it. I am an advocate of spending your time wisely and I do not believe spending eight hours Monday to Friday doing something you absolutely hate is a wise way to spend your time. Do you dread your Mondays? And I'm not talking about dreading your Mondays, I'm talking about dreading your Mondays. Do you get palpitations on your way to work? Do you absolutely find every strength of your mental and physical to get out of your bed to get to work? Then it might be time to go. Number two, if you have a plan B. A plan B is something that you can plan or it's a plan B that you already have in place. Do you have the option of temping somewhere that could be more interesting for you? Do you have savings in your account that could sustain you for a few months? These are all options you can consider if you don't necessarily have a new job lined up but you really want to get out of where you are now. Obviously, the most ideal situation is to wait until you find something better or find something more in line with what you want to do. But sometimes, and I recognise this, I have felt this, it's just time to go and you could spend your time better elsewhere. If you have plan B, you have savings, options of temping, other means of getting by, why not leave? Number three, if you don't have too many responsibilities. Now, I'm a 20 something year old girl. I still live at home. I don't have much rent to pay. I don't have a mortgage and I don't have young people or anybody for that matter, depending on me financially. I recognize that by having that, I'm in a position of privilege. I'm still young, I can still have the opportunity to make mistakes and to still find out what I really want to do. And that will be spending my time much better. So if you're in a similar situation, you know you don't have too many responsibilities, why not leave? There's literally nothing holding you back. You probably have the means to still live comfortably for the next few months if you haven't found something. Number four if you have an idea of what you want to do. Now I'm talking to all those people out there that are currently in a job or on a career path that they know is not for them anymore, but now have an idea what they would rather do. I'm talking to all of you. Let's mobilize. It's time to move. Why waste time in a job or career path that isn't for you anymore? The only way you can find out what you do want to do is by doing. So move on and let's start figuring out what we really would like to do and number five a bit of a cheeky one but if you're watching this video and saying yes to all the questions then it's probably time for you to quit your job but like for real um i've been in your position or in these positions in a career path that i knew wasn't for me anymore i had an idea of what i wanted to do and i just knew that i absolutely hated where i was at i wasn't liking the work if you want to hear more about my story you can go to my first vlog which i'm going to link up here it's been an interesting journey so far but i really think that by documenting what i'm doing i can help others that may be in a situation like you 
where you might want to quit your job or you find it's time for you to move on to something better. You don't have to stay in a dead end job. You don't have to stay on a career path just because you studied it. There are so many more opportunities out there. With the rise of social media, there's LinkedIn. There are opportunities for us to really mobilize and do exactly what we want to do. Let's not settle for less anymore, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you got something out of it. If you have any more tips or any more indicators as to what the reason may be now for you to quit your job, please post them in the comments. Let's share. Let's start giving each other advice and encouraging each other about how we can just better live our lives and spend more hours doing things that we love. Thanks, guys. Okay, that was really cheesy. I'm so sorry. But, like, I need to find the sign out if you can read By the way, earlier I was talking about subscribing. I'm not saying that you should just quit your job like that. But at the same time, like, why are you scared? <laughs> no, I'm joking, for real. But like, you, you don't have to quit your job, but. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen?